Dave here, how are you? Everybody knows that I'm a bit of a Festool nut. I do own other brands as well, but Festool is right up there and I love their gear. And one of the reasons is because of their sustainers. Now, Festool have come up with this unbelievably good idea and put a vac in a sustainer. This is a SIS2, this is a SIS1, that's the sizes of them. And down the bottom is where the vacuum lives, up the top is the garage for the hose and the lead. Now I'm going to do this video slightly differently. If you just want to have a couple of ideas at the beginning, watch that part. If you need to know the technical bits as well, stick with me. Okay, just quickly, 6.9 kilos all up, not heavy at all. We'll integrate with the new sustainers above and the new sustainers and the old sustainers underneath. Sound, 67 decibels, super quiet. You can take the top sustainer off and leave it to the side and disconnect it and reconnect it up through the um, side here. There's a, the plug pulls out. You can put the carry strap in here, throw it over your shoulder and off you go. I can go 25, 30, 40, 50 meters away from a power point just by putting an extension lead out behind me and vacuum. Upstairs, I don't have to lug a whole unit up behind me. This little thing's hanging on my shoulder. So for a tidy up on a job, absolutely fantastic. Small sanding jobs, terrific. Remember, this is only a four and a half litre machine. That's all its collection is. So it's not going to be replacing the big fellows. This is designed to be super portable and <laughs> away you go. Auto on. It's got the auto on switch around the side here. I can also pop this in my sys roll. Show you a photo of the sys roll here. Brilliant. Work, take it to site. Love it. I'm going to change cameras in a second and you'll probably see my whiskers in the corner of the shop. There's nothing I can do about it. That's just the way it is. Here we go. Now for the tech section. Carry strap, which is adjustable in length, a five meter long power lead, three meter long by 27 millimeter anti-static hose, and it also has a 90 degree right angle entry into the vac. There's an earth point just inside the entry there. The carry strap can be removed by pushing this little button at the top and pushing to the right hand side. Same at the other end. Don't try and pull it straight forwards, it's not going to work. We can put the carry strap on the front of the vac, just in case you want to put the, vac over the, put the strap over your shoulder and carry it upright so that the exhaust port is facing straight down. Well balanced too. This same carry strap can go on the rest of Festool sustainers. Probably not a good idea to put it on the larger ones, but up to a SIS2, it should be fine. Inside we have the tools. There's a crevice tool and a small broom tool. Pretty good place to put them. The four and a half litre dust collection bag. It's got a seal on it. You can close it off when it's full and throw it in the bin. And inside here is the filter. It's an L-series filter, not HEPA. But I believe that this filter is the same size as the CT22. I think you can get a HEPA filter in that size. You'd have to check that one. This is where the turbine pulls the air through. And on this side is a safety valve. Just in case the hose gets blocked, this overrides it. And it'll suck air in through this black vent at the back. The whole assembly just clips back into position. Here's the safety signs. Now, read the instructions, don't stand on it, don't get it wet, and don't suck up fluids. It's a dry vac. I'm going to show you how to take the SIS1 off the top so it's even smaller. The cable unplugs, and then the whole thing just comes off when you rotate the catch the right direction. And this is showing you putting the carry strap back on but only as a SIS2 at this stage. Throw it over your shoulder and away you go. Of course it's a good idea to plug it back in. There's the hose, you can aim it in any direction you want. Suction on this one is 180 cubic meters an hour. It's a thousand watt turbine on it. Putting it back together again. 
It's a pretty simple process. The older sustainers will go underneath and lock on. The most weight you're allowed to put under the vac is 20 kilos. I know that because I read the book. It will also take the new sustainers quite easily, probably easier. Even with the hose out the side, it's got a little area there for the hose and the lead to come out and everything locks back together. 1400 watt automatic power point, and there's the automatic switch or manual and the on off switch. And that goes, uh, there's a little light in that when you turn it on. At the end of the day, when you pack everything back up, the hose goes in really easily. I was quite surprised. And the lead, of course, and with the lead, I just tuck the plug under the handle and it fits in quite well. Then the sustainer goes on top of it. If you need to carry a few things out at the one go, do that. In the back, it's also got a, the exhaust port. You can put the hose in and it's a blower. That's it. Back Thanks to the watching. Other See you next time. Remember all this stuff here. If you want to, subscribe to the channel. Have some fun. See you later.